Children's Hospital reporting the toddler shot in the temple on Lakeshore Drive yesterday during a road rage incident remains in critical condition, but they do see a sign of hope that his condition has not gotten worse. WGN's Dana Rebick is at the hospital and joins us now with more. Dana. Well, doctors here tell us they are cautiously optimistic. They are providing around the clock intensive care. They say children are very resilient, even when it comes to severe injuries like this one, and they are hoping this little boy can pull through. Currently, we're managing his severe brain injury from the gunshot, and this is requiring, again, that team effort that over the past 24 hours, although he's remained critically ill, um, he has been unchanged, so he has not worsened, but he's remained critically ill. An update tonight from doctors at Lurie Children's Hospital on 21 month old Caden Swan, who was shot in the right temple around 11 a.m. yesterday. Swan was in a car with his grandmother and her boyfriend when police say an apparent road rage incident on Lakeshore Drive near Soldier Field led to the shooting. The bullet went in and came out. Excuse me. He's then been in surgery. No, Last night, the victim's great grandfather and grandmother spoke to WGN outside the hospital. They hurt my baby. They hurt my baby. This is it home. This is something that you hear all the violence. But this is hit home. Caden Swan remains in the pediatric intensive care unit in a medically induced coma and on a ventilator with his mother and grandmother by his side. Doctors are monitoring swelling in the brain, not knowing yet the long term outcome for this child. It's still too early to tell. Uh, we're only about 24 hours into this, and we should know a little bit more over the next coming days. Now, the grandmother's boyfriend, we are told, did have a gun uh, on him inside of their vehicle, but police have not confirmed whether or not he fired that weapon. Now, the suspect who shot at their car fled in a black Chevy. Chicago police have confirmed, though, that they have been questioning a person of interest, but not uh, told us yet if anyone has been charged. Live at Lurie Children's Hospital, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Thank you for the update, Dana. Chicago